up everybody, good morning. Welcome back to another video. My name is Spencer Burke. We're over here at Supercar Saturday. I came to this show about a month ago. Actually, no, it's been like two or three weeks. I do this every second Saturday of the month and it's about 30 minutes away from my place. So it's not too bad. Um, last time I was here with a bunch of friends. I'm here alone this time, but I have a couple friends that are here. But I wanted to make a video of me talking about like the cars individually. Last time was more of like a compilation. I think this one, I'm gonna give you guys more of like a, maybe detailed on like the top 20 cars that I see or something like that. Um, I know I did a little bit here and there last time, but um, I'm gonna get coffee and then we'll get the day started. So I didn't even wash my car for this event. I just pretty much came out here. It's whatever. So you got all the BMWs out here and then whatever this thing is. Oh, it's a RX-7. Yo. Got Kenneth out here. Got the crew. Looking good, man. Representing for the Beamer Club. So it is a little bit hard to do videos when you have background music, but I'll do what I can. One thing I wanted to do is check this thing out just because I heard it from so far away. I don't know if this is a paint the sample color, but it's like a really nice dark red. Super clean on that car too. And you got a nice silver GT3 RS. Simple spec. Such a good car. Chalk GTS and damn, okay. That's one of my new favorite colors right there. That looks so good. With the yellow seatbelts, man, this spec and the yellow stitching, I'd say one of my favorite specs I've ever seen on a GT3, a non-RS. So I saw this on Instagram Live this morning and I saw they're pulling off the trailer. And I don't even know where to start with this thing. See what size tire this is 345 in the rear. <laughs> so, I have yet to drive one of these, the new Pista. It's definitely one of my favorite looking cars that I've seen so far, um, as far as like newer Ferraris. I do like the F12 TDF. But as far as like the normal 488, the normal 458, never been a huge fan of them. I do like the special editions, obviously, because everything is much more track oriented, just like the 430 Scud and a 600 LT, which looks really good. But this color, it's almost like a darker red. I'm not sure if it's the resale red and then the stripe too, which I like a lot. The accent colors look really clean. I'm pretty sure from the factory, that's a really expensive option. The carbon shield. Then over here you have original 4 GT. Looks like it's probably real. And then a 05 4 GT. A Stradman spec. This color scheme is really cool. I've actually never seen a 4 GT in this color scheme. You guys remember about five years ago or four years ago i sold a matte white huracan to christian guzman but his had white calipers this one i'm pretty sure this is the factory matte white because it kind of has i don't like saying it but it kind of has a yellowish look to it depending on what lighting you're in but i'm pretty sure this is a factory color which i like a lot i just think that it suits the body lines a lot more and you can see the the angles of the car so i spotted this from a distance and that's a good looking belt on it Oh, it is. I was like, hold on, why do I see the yellow center caps? And I was like, hold on, there has to be something different with it. And I noticed this is a center lock setup, which means this car has a conversion. This is one clean, clean, clean Huracan. One of my favorite Huracans I've ever seen. And it's just slammed with wheels. Which I think looks really, really good. 
Yeah, I can't keep coming back to this car. I love how the wheels are black and then you have the chrome lip with the yellow caliper and then the center lock is actually painted in yellow, which I think gives it more of a really cool like standout look for having center caps. It makes the center cap stand out way more. And I believe these cars were here last time, including the Chiron, but they had like a boat parked over here so you couldn't really see much. You guys can see too, this has the glass option for the roof. And of course it has the US bumpers on it, which looks so bad. And this is a sport too, you can tell by that exhaust with the four pipes on it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Now, if you know my history, I used to work with exotic cars. And that car, that Chiron is cool, and I posted about it on my Instagram that I wasn't a big fan. Everyone was flaming me for it. And I just, I don't know, I'm much more involved with like the modified scene. I appreciate hypercars and supercars, but I think that being in that industry for so long, you do get jaded and going to car week over and over again, I guess you just get used to it. The exotics are cool, but I prefer modified cars. See, that's a good spec, that's really good. And it had wheels on it too. It's still pretty early in the morning, but we got a bunch of R8s here. I'm sure there'll be plenty more cars coming. So I wanted to come back to this car just because this interior. I love, love, love those seats. They look so good. This color is really proper too. I think every bit on it has carbon fiber too. So like I was talking about how these cars, they don't really like do much for me. This one does because it has wheels, has carbon fiber all over it, and it's blue and yellow. That's Michigan colors right there which man that looks so good. I don't know if you guys remember from my last vlog but when I was driving here I was next to this car on the freeway. I spotted him going down the road. I saw it from like three miles behind me and he was flying. So I'm gonna do my best to try to pick out cars that I see around the area in the parking lot. This is a Range Rover that I actually really like. This is a super nice SUV. It has a red interior. I like the two-tone on it with the silver and the black. Not a huge fan of silver cars usually. But this one looks really good, and I think it's lowered too. It's definitely not a stock car, which actually it's not even an SVR. It looks so good. Damn, I want to pick out a couple cars that are sitting in the parking lot on the side. Parker, this one's for you, bro. Viper ACR in green. Look at all that carbon. I've driven uh, a couple Vipers before. I don't think I've ever driven an ACR, especially in this green. It's sitting on some really intense tires too. You got 355s in the rear. These wheels remind me of uh, Apex, the EC7s. They're like that same style. I had a set on my car. One thing about these cars that I think is hilarious, I don't know if you can pick it up on video, but the wing is absolutely like way over the roof line and it's just insanely big. And they got all the carbon in the back right here. I think one thing too that these cars suit really well is having a bright color. They look really good because once you have like a bright color, you're able to see all the carbon bits and also all the accent pieces like this intake down here, the rear diffuser, the rear bumper, the exhaust inlet area, and same with the front. You can obviously see there's so much going on, especially with that splitter right there.
man how are you right. now I'm assuming that by looking at this car it's probably just a little bit fast running four drag radios on that thing What's up, man? How are you? Appreciate it. Nice car. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about this show is that there's a lot of 600 LTs. I think that's just Florida in general. I think when you move here, you get an application to buy a 600 LT. Because I don't know if you can notice, but I think there's one, two, three, four, maybe. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what exhaust is on that car, but there's something loud as hell on that thing. I literally have a picture of this car right here <laughs> from the last time I was here. But that's a really clean 650S. I don't think that's stock. <laughs> this SVJ I saw last time, so good. If I did say anything as far as having like a particular car that the spec is just off the charts, this SVJ behind me, I'd say this is one of my favorite specs I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of matte black and a lot of matte white, but I think that this is Grigio Telesto, which is original off the Gallardo and then the blue accents all over it I don't know there's something about it same with the interior too it's like blue Cepheus with Grigio Telesco and the owner is really cool on Instagram too it's a super clean GTR white with the lip on the wheels looks really good
damn, that looks cool. I love okay, Jeeps. I, I wonder how that is when you're going like 70 miles an hour. Shit. The road noise is probably so bad. It's poor. And there goes my shot. Is it Alpina? Yeah. FIR, it's alright. Yeah. Alright, that's nice. That's clean. You better make that's so much hard to believe. Look at the better make power. That is so clean. So I don't know if you guys can actually count, but I think so far I've seen nine 600 LTs. I'm probably gonna make this video about how many 600 LTs you see here. That spec right there with all that red interior, so dope. Got this blue one, this is the one that I saw at the last show. It's a really nice spec with the center seats inside with orange accents. So this is number two with the comfort seats, black over orange, really nice spec. Super cool with the metallic and the paint. Looks like a lower option car, doesn't have all the carbon on it, but still all blacked out, looks really clean. So this is rather interesting. I don't know if this is factory color. I don't, it looks like a wrap with the yellow accents to it. Not sure how I feel about the car itself. The design is a little bit funky, a little bit off, but I guess if you like being different. All right, this is the number three 600 LT loaded with carbon. Chicane gray looks like over orange. Blue 600 LT, gray 600 LT. I heard a GT3 RS. Oh, yep. I posted this on my Instagram last time. With the green cage. Yes, please, yes. And a black one. Oh. So I think I missed this car, 600 LT, green, really, really cool green, it's like a lime green. Looks good. I think one of the funny things is, is that when you come to a car show, you're obviously going to see a lot of vloggers here. If you look behind me, Tim is here, Shmi, good friend of mine for the last maybe 10 years. I haven't seen him since we did Car Week in 2016. Whoever started this business? Great marketing tactic. It's a level of commitment right there for the photo. So you guys didn't know this whole section over here is pretty much all the exotics and supercars. And then over in this direction would be all of the non-exotics or I guess, I don't want to say lower end stuff, but it's lower end stuff. I actually wanted to turn around real quick because this GT3 is leaving. That is such a good spec. That looks beautiful. And that's one of the most amazing colors for this car. So I've been give, giving love to all the exotic cars, which, like I said, I like them, but I want to show some more love towards BMWs and I guess other cars compared to only McLaren 600 LTs. Did a run with all these guys a couple weeks ago. Actually, last weekend to Cars and Coffee. These things are absolutely insane. This thing's nuts, man. I don't really know what this is, but 
It's like a fun race car. Super clean 997 turbo. I parked all the way over here because my car is so dirty, but it's alright. Very appropriate color for this Aston Martin. It's been out in Florida. Get a cigar lounge. Really like this Supra. This color really suits the car, especially with the silver wheels. I would change out the calipers, but this looks really clean for the Supra. RPF ones. Definitely don't feel like I give enough love to trucks, but this thing's sitting on air, all rusted out. That's cool. I got respect for this stuff. I'm more plumbing than a house. <laughs> this is a car I'd consider, the R32 GTR. I'd consider a lot of cars to be honest, but this looks really good. TE37s. Super clean interior. Some people don't even run those covers. This is definitely not stock. I'm assuming it's twin turbo. It sounds like it. Yeah, it's 100% twin turbo. This is cool. I like this hood pin right here, an umbrella. Earlier in the video, you guys heard this car pulling up. Um, it sounds like it had a some kind of crazy clutch in it because he was revving it out. It's cool. Another clean Supra. I don't know if this, this is like dry forged carbon. See that? Well, SC300. Porsche turbo section. And the music's back on, so... Probably time for my own music. <laughs> some love for some classic cars. Not my thing, but I'm sure that some of you guys watching this appreciate that. Those are insane. Looks like Viola, factory color. Suits this car very well for Florida. I'd say that I spent the majority of time talking to new friends and meeting a lot of people. Ooh, it's a Supra. I love Supras, man. Things sound so good. Yeah, so like I said, I spent the majority of time talking to friends and meeting new people. I'm okay with that sound. But I'm gonna go head out now. Uh, I have to go work a little bit today, but I'll try to film the rest of the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed the content. I know that it was kind of short and not as crazy as last time, but my goal is just to keep documenting all the car shows I go to and yeah, so. It's honestly super embarrassing going through here with my car being this dirty, but whatever, man, who cares? I drive the hell out of this car. I'm a big fan of that purple Lambo. That thing looks so good. Watch it, watch it. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. 
I didn't actually walk down this way, but you can see there's like eight trillion Corvettes and ho -ho -ho, a Prowler. That's some rare stuff right there. Scrapes so bad. <laughs> My cars are still coming in. 